has the first of the zucchini flowers. It's a male. But we got some female buds on these plants over here. See that? So that's cool. They're doing well. I pruned out a couple leaves over here so I could get the uh, watermelon some exposure. Some overlap over the uh, the canopies removed so that the uh, the center can get some light. I just uh, clipped up the cucumber plants a little bit higher on the strings here, so they're all doing well. Getting some nice foliage going. Very evident where they are now. How many loud ass trucks can screw up this video? These brassica leaves are blasting. Ooh, that's nice and soft. I never touched one. I'm hoping that this will come to a head, but it's probably just gonna go to flower. But either way, we're getting some uh, Fibonacci action on the uh, Sweet 100s. Just went around and pollinated everything. There's your Costaludo Genovese busting out. Your San Marzano, new ones setting fruit there. Little baby ones. Woofie! The Caspian Pink, which was an issue, is now busting flowers, got some new growth. Here's the other one. Look at the size of the frills on top of the tomatoes on the Caspian Pink. See them down here? That means it's gonna be a big tomato when you see these things being really large. Speaking of which, <laughs> look at the brandy wines. Brandy wines get pretty damn big. So it's really cool to see. Those are gonna be big boys. We got ourselves a handful of brandies. Blast in there. Here's some more. Again, with the same huge leaf star thing on top. Very cool how big the flowers are on the uh, on the really big heirloom varieties. There's the Cherokee purples. Really getting plump. Got new fruit setting up here on the second round. Here's the other ones over on this side. Round two on that plant. Here's the Costaluto over here setting fruit. It can do it. Round two right there. Nice. Here's the two bloody butchers. The size of this bad boy. It's a big leaf. It's pretty sick. These guys are coming along. More, more. These guys are coming along. More. Here's the sun gold. Still no color, I don't think. I can't see the other side of that big one. But judging by these ones over here, this is kind of like a pale green now. But we're still getting really good production on these uh, new trellises up here, which is great. The sun gold seems to be a winner so far. Here's your beans. Check them out. Lots of little flowers popping off. It's really cool to see. Got these guys. And you got your little baby beans there. See that? Underneath that flower bud. 
We'll see. There's your baby bean. It's a small baby bean. It's a baby small bean. Now, check this out. Look at this thing. Look at all that. And what's cool, if you look over here, that right there is the first Berries Crazy Cherry fruit set. If it would just focus for a second. Yeah, you can see them. Right there. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. No. There you go. That. There it is. You can see the little point on the bottom. Sick. Yeah, look at how many friggin' we or uh, flowers are on here. Unbelievable. It's gonna be really cool to see that blast off. Huh. Here's your uh, purple bumblebee trying its best to do a Fibonacci sequence. The sunrise bumblebee. Trying the same. The true Fibonacci sequence master is the red current. Look at that. That's so cool. All of those little uh, brats seem to want to do that type of curling. But they're ripening up down here. See them? They're very small. It's one finger on like four of them. <laughs> We're gonna let those go another couple days, let them get nice and sweet. Yeah. Corn's killing it. I moved this over here. We're about to do a big boy water. The peas are about done. Something dug out underneath these ones, so they're having troubles right now. Some gopher hole. But. And then here's the flowers over here. These are more purple. The ones I've noticed. Than the, than the white ones. But. And right here is our little clone experiment. The purple bumblebee. Just stick it right in the ground. No rooting hormone, nothing. Hey, what kind of bug are you? You seem like a boy. I don't want to be eating my food. Mr. Beetle. Look at them little potato flowers. She's a beaut there in the sunshine, isn't she? Wow. So, I'll show you how I water. We got the old Flexzilla covered in whatever the hell black mold weirdness happens to these things. And we got a quick, quick release. By Melnor. Come on, Nelnor. All right. God damn it. So, ugh. it's nice because I can just get things ready to go. Get it positioned properly. I gotta have it at a little bit of an angle here to get to the peas properly. And then we're gonna have to run. Let me just... It's not going to be super hot, is it? It's not in the sun. Seems okay. Oh, I think I fudged up the thing. I 
Okay. Uh oh. Ah! Okay, it's going too far over there. That's going way too far over there. That's a little too far that way. What if I lift it up a smidge like that? <laughs> Not going quite back enough. Hmm. Woo! Now it's cold. That should be good. It's hitting over there. Going back. It's hitting over here. Going back. Nice. Cool. I need a little small pee pee. Is this black rot starting up? I don't know. I've spritzed them with some fungicide. Little leaf hopper again. You can do it. There you go. Yeah, those guys are cool, but I think they actually eat your stuff pretty bad. <sighs> Let's get sprinkling in the sunset. So yeah, I'll probably let this go for about a half an hour. It's gonna be about 90 degrees tomorrow. It was 90 degrees today. So this stuff will appreciate it. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go pet Wolfie, cause he's sad. <laughs> Have a good day.